Hey everyone, Sparks back with another Goddess Victory Nikkei video, and we have a brand new unit, Elleg, and I can't tell if I love her design or hate it. I don't know, like, something about it just kind of, like, puts me off, but kind of does it for me at the same time. Like, the girl is definitely thick. The bangs completely covering her face is weird. Of course, we all know there's jokes there, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm liking her more and more now that I'm seeing her actual animation and seeing her in combat. Um, those those shorts are looking pretty good. Anyway, she is a support burst 2 with a 20 second cooldown, a machine gun, and electric type. So, um, pretty cool. It, you know, I can't really think of any like burst 2 machine guns that we use right now. I don't know. If, I, if I'm just like wrong and they're not coming to mind, let me know in the comments below. But uh, she's actually a lot more interesting than I was expecting. I don't really know what I was expecting, to be honest, but let's take a look at her skills. Um, her skill one is a passive called Short Circuit, and it activates when entering the battle and affects all allies. So as soon as the battle starts, this is going to go off. It says, when attacking enemy projectiles, damage dealt to the projectile goes up by 59.66% continuous. So this is pretty cool. You know, um, some of these um, effects that increase damage to projectiles are kind of not that great because they just like only happen at certain times or whatever, or the other effects that the unit does isn't as great. And so it's not really worth it. But here we have something that just increases it no matter what damage up by 60%. This can definitely make a difference when battling certain difficult bosses and trying to make sure you're taking less damage from missiles or bombs. But the really great thing about it is that it doesn't take uh, like the place of another skill. This just happens all the time. But she also has another part to her skill one that's really, you know, what's going to happen uh, the rest of the time. And it says activates after landing 100 normal attacks, affects the target and two surrounding enemy units if the target is in boom install. And we'll find out what that boom status is uh, when we get to her burst. But um, it says it deals 91% of final attack as distributed damage. 91% of final attack is pretty dang good. And it is very good that she is doing 91% of final attack because she is a support, so her normal base attack stat isn't going to be all that high. But this can deal probably a pretty strong amount of damage, particularly if you can get some attack stat lines on overload gear if you do end up overloading her. Um, and the distributed damage is pretty good because it's going to get buffed, right? So if you're fighting one um, single target boss, then it doesn't even matter. It's the same as normal damage. Um, if it has a couple of mobs around it, then that's fine. And she is going to buff her own distributed damage, which we'll see here in a second. So her second attack is another passive called Fast Charge, and it says activates after landing 60 normal attacks, affects all allies if the target is in boom install. Again, we have that condition there. And then attack goes up by 13% of caster's attack for five seconds. This is kind of mid. I mean, an attack buff is always good, but again, it's not final attack this time, uh, like it was on skill one, and her attack stat is going to be pretty low for a base attack stat as a support. So, you know, and it's only for five seconds. I mean, it's not terrible, I'll take it, but not as impressive. Uh, but the other ability says activates when the target appears. So we haven't seen this since D. This is really cool. And then it says fills burst gauge by 100% activates once per battle. So your boy still doesn't have D. So I still haven't gotten to do that. She's the one unit that I don't have in the game. And uh, now I can finally get this effect. So pretty cool. And this is pretty useful. I mean, we've still even seen some random corner case things where D has been relevant to do uh, this. And I have a feeling that Eleg doing this ability is going to be a lot more useful than putting D on your squad since D was a burst three and uh, is just, you know, feeling a little outdated by this point. But Elleg is actually looking surprisingly pretty good. So let's go ahead and see what her burst is and talk about what that boom status is. So it's called boom, <laughs> go figure. And it, act, it only has a 20 second cooldown, which is exactly what we want. This could be an actual competitive unit. It says activates, or sorry, affects all allies and then distributed damage dealt goes up by 39% for 10 seconds. So this is going to increase her own distributed damage effect and is a really good buffer for some other units that we'll talk about in a second. It also says affects all enemies nearest the crosshair, deals 79% of final attack as damage. That's good, we're back to that final attack stat. So that's a pretty good chunk of damage. And then it causes boom. 
um, defense goes down by 35% for 10 seconds. So modifying defense is generally not super impactful because of the place that it's in in the damage formula. Just usually doesn't make a big difference, but still damage or defense down by 35% is a pretty decent percentage. And the fact that it's also simultaneously, you know, increasing that distributed damage as well as dealing a big chunk of final attack damage this could be pretty good i mean as a burst to support we're not trying to make her like our main dps anyway this could be a pretty good chunk of damage coming from her and that distributed damage can be really good for some very good units such as dorothy so we're buffing dorothy's burst with distributed damage dorothy is still one of the best units in the game if not the best burst one, maybe the second best burst one in the game. Um, extremely good against a ton of bosses. Um, she's also pretty good for pushing campaign. She's really, really good and will just get better with um, Eleg. And the good thing is you don't have to worry about, you know, burst cooldown since Dorothy will bring her own and then you can just, you know, use Eleg to buff her. At the same time, she's also going to buff the distributed damage of Black Shadow Scarlet which is another extremely powerful unit, probably our best, if not second best, burst three attacker. So, you know, this, this squad is kind of building itself already. This could be really, really good. Um, she would also buff 2B's attack. I think her burst is distributed damage as well. So, you know, maybe not quite as synergistic with 2B because she has a lot of, like, attack stat things and, like, buffing... Um, 2B's attack stat isn't super relevant since she already buffs her attack stat a ton on her own and her base attack isn't super high. But still, there is synergy there. Again, more flexibility. It could bring 2B into some more like solo raid squads. Um, you know, could you always want flexibility when you're trying to build multiple squads like that. So uh, the point is there is a lot of relevant units that she buffs and she can deal, looks like deal some decent damage on her own. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm really pleasantly surprised by her. I love the design space they're working with here. We're seeing some unique effects that we don't see very often. And, uh, it, you know, these ones that where she has to rack up multiple hits are going to happen pretty quickly because she's using a machine gun. I'm excited for her. And uh, yeah, you know, and I actually really love her uh, her burst animation there. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I will be pulling for her tonight after the update ends. And of course, we will do some initial impressions testing. So make sure you're subscribed and you check out that video so we can see if she's worth putting in your hard-earned gems if you're running kind of low on resources. So um, yeah, she's definitely exceeding expectations. And uh, I'm, I'm growing more and more fond of her design. So um, with that said, um, let me jump into the actual game here really quick. And we're going to go to Nikkei's. I did a friendship poll off uh, camera earlier. I should have done it on camera. I was like, oh, whatever, I'll just do my friendship poll. But I actually pulled a copy of Viper, which was my last one. So we're going to get to max limit break. And we'll do that right here on video. Bunny Viper, three stars. That also means I unlock her, uh, whatever it is, her max limit break. Um wallpaper so let's go back to the lobby and we can see that i mean sugar looks good but wait where is it oh i didn't actually apply it okay all right we'll go back to sugar <laughs> all right well anyway pretty cool to uh complete viper there i just want to share that with you okay so make sure you're subscribed for more nikkei videos and i'll catch you guys in the next video or stream